what is the difference between HDD and SSD. If you see the abbreviation HDD, this normally refers to a hard disk drive, while SSD refers to a solid state drive. But what are they and how are they different? Well, they are both hardware devices that are used to store large amounts of data and information. Not to be confused with memory. You can learn about the difference between memory and storage in our other videos, so go check that one out. But back to our storage devices for this video. Hard drives have been around for ages, while solid state drives are a newer technology. How they store data and what they are made of are the key differences. There are five differences between a hard drive and a solid state drive. They are storage method, speed, size, durability, and cost. Storage method refers to how the device stores data. Hard drives store data by magnetizing tiny areas on spinning disks to store and retrieve data. Inside a hard drive, you'll find spinning disks called platters, a read-write head which is an actual arm. This mechanical arm reads and writes the data. Solid-state drives store data on electronic circuits with flash memory chips, similar to those in USB drives. They also contain a controller and cache. The controller manages data storage and retrieval, while the cache helps to improve performance. The storage method is the reason for each device's speed difference. Hard drives have platters that are physically spinning and a physically moving arm. These moving parts all take time, while electronic circuits of the solid state drive are far quicker. Think about how fast it would take to send an electronic signal from one place to another compared to a physically moving part. And so SSDs provide faster read-write speeds, resulting in quicker boot times, meaning they start the computer up quicker, and applications loading faster. When it comes to the physical size of the hardware device, hard drives are larger and heavier and have moving parts. Because SSDs have electronic circuits, it's much easier to compact all those non-moving parts into a smaller and lighter piece of hardware. Because of the moving parts and size of the hard drive, they tend to be less durable. They are more susceptible to damage with physical shocks if they are dropped accidentally and are prone to mechanical failure over time. They also consume more power due to the spinning disks and moving parts, which means it will use more battery power if you use one in your laptop. SSDs are more durable and reliable because they don't have moving parts, making them less vulnerable to physical damage and mechanical wear. Technically, because of the no moving parts, they should last longer, but that also depends as an SSDs do have a finite number of write cycles. And because they consume less power, this can lead to longer battery life when using in laptops and other mobile devices. By the way, this also means that SSDs are quieter noise-wise. You may hear the running parts of a hard drive, but not so much with a solid state drive. So Mr. Long, all you have said so far is that solid state drives are better than hard drives. What's even the point of hard drives? Well, there is one category that hard drives are slightly better, and that's when it comes to cost. Hard drives are generally less expensive per byte compared to solid state drives. In other words, a 1 terabyte hard drive will be cheaper than a 1 terabyte solid state drive. And because solid state drives are newer technology, their high volume storage options are less available. It's much easier to find a 1 terabyte hard drive than a 1 terabyte solid state drive on the market. Both are compatible with most modern computer systems including laptops, desktops and servers and emerging technologies aim to increase storage capacities, improve speeds and reduce costs for both hard drives and solid state drives. Now there is another factor to consider when talking about the differences between hard drives and solid state drives and that is defragmentation. We have a video that explains how defragmentation works but basically if files become scattered on a hard drive then defragmentation will reorganize data so that the related files are together meaning it's quicker to access the files. Defragmentation can lead to faster boot times and quicker applications loading and overall smoother system performance especially on older hard drives. In the past, regular defragmentation was recommended for hard drives to maintain optimal performance. However, with advancements in file systems and storage technologies, modern operating systems automatically perform scheduled defragmentation in the background, reducing the need for doing it manually. However, when it comes to a solid state drive, defragmentation is not recommended. Unlike hard drives, solid state drives store data in flash memory chips rather than spinning disks. As a result, the way data is accessed and managed on a solid state drive is fundamentally different from that of a hard drive. Defragmentation involves moving data around on the disk, which can cause unnecessary wear and tear on the NAND flash memory cells in the solid state drive. We mentioned earlier that these cells in a solid state drive have a limited number of write cycles before they degrade over time. Performing defragmentation on a solid state drive can increase the number of write operations, potentially reducing the lifespan of the drive and increasing the risk of the solid state drive failing too early. 
Instead of defragmentation, SSDs benefit from a different optimization technique called trim. The trim command allows the operating system to inform the SSD which data blocks are no longer in use, enabling the SSD to proactively erase and consolidate these blocks. So when it comes to a hard drive, by all means defrag when you need to, but rather not if you have a solid state drive. So to recap, hard drives are storage devices that use magnetic spinning disks to read and write data, making them cheaper per gigabyte and available in larger capacities. But they are slower when accessing data. They have moving parts that can fail, they tend to use more power to function, and all this makes them larger and bulkier in size. And hard drives require defragmentation to maintain performance. Solid state drives use electronic flash memory, offering faster data access and quicker boot times. Better durability, no noise, and lower power consumption, though they are more expensive per gigabyte. And SSDs do not require defragmentation. Hard drives are better for storing large amounts of data at a lower cost when speed isn't crucial, such as storing media libraries or backups. Solid state drives are ideal for tasks that demand fast data access and improved performance, such as running operating systems, gaming, and productivity applications. As technology advances, SSDs are becoming more popular due to their speed and efficiency. So, which one do you have in your computer? Please support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And remember that we have another channel, Mr. Long IT and Cat for computer literacy and programming. And follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And share us with your friends. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.